I think what I'll do is I'll join a tournament. Mm. Let's do rapid. And uh, I won't berserk. I'm not going to try and win it. I just want to play some like decent games. Um, yeah, I'll try and try and be instructive. Try and have some quality chess. Lobinator is first and saying first. That's that's a rarity. And Sahaj is second. Hello, welcome people. Pebisman saying king. Also known as Big Daddy. I don't know if I'll be using this extension. I was actually thinking about having like um, channel point redemptions to change, to basically change the words within the extension. It would take some work to set up, but um, just an idea. Anyway, um, okay, playing the hourly rapid arena. Hello to everyone. If you're just joining, you are joining on time. Is elephant spelled wrong? Ella, oh, it didn't say from last time. I thought I fixed it. Thanks for that. All right, Sicilian time. It's 1.47 in Portugal. Oh, good morning. Or good, yeah, good, good evening, good night. I don't know if you're going to go to sleep or stick around. Um, but you have to stick around for at least one game. Also, Nor, converting from a Twitch Prime to a Tier 1. Thanks so much, Nor. Welcome back. So D3. D3 signifies that White's going for some probably closed Sicilian, maybe some King's Indian setup. Um, ooh, F4. So with F4 so early... I'm inclined I'm inclined to go for d5. I think I'll start with e6 and then then go for d5. This is a slightly unusual move order, but looks playable. Play some gambits. Um it's hard to gambit from this this sort of opening, like white's playing very solidly. Probably in future games, but this will be this will probably be positional. If White plays e5, we'll have some kind of French structure. Knight a3. A very, very weird looking move. The first thing that comes to mind is takes takes. Take away White's casting rights. Huh. I give away the c4 square. Hey. Thanks for the game. Oh yeah, we played earlier. Delay, dirty London uh, <laughs> I, I played your boy Deep Roy um, mm. in a London themed tournament. Yeah, you're streaming, D. Oh, welcome back. I barely know the rules. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I mean I should not take so much time in this position. I'm realizing that takes takes we trade queens it's not so damaging to white so i think i'll just play knight f6 i'll pressure the pawn if this this just want to create a situation where the knight is feeling left out and ed winham summing a tier one thanks so much okay now it's a free pawn um yeah opponent did not respond to my threat So all of my opponent's ratings are provisional. Interesting. Knight e5. Knight e5 is interesting. Because if I take, take, then my knight has to move and I lose it back a pawn. And I don't really want to allow this. I think I'll play knight e4. Just hit the bishop. If takes, I'll take back, and then the knights will be occupying the center. <laughs> yeah, I cha I changed the channel point redemptions a little bit. I, I learned <laughs> I learned some lesson from the last stream. Um, I don't want to be blindfolded for 
for most of the stream. I do have my blindfold. So if anyone has 1.5 million channel points. Oh. Oh, that's a good move. Oh, wow. That's a really good move. Finally caught a stream again. Been a minute. Welcome back. Wait, I have to take this seriously. Bishop b5? Because I, if I take it, it runs into takes, takes, takes. I lose a, a rook. Be down in exchange. That might be playable, though. Let's calculate. Takes, takes, takes. Uh, I'll assume takes, king e8, takes. I can take on a3, takes, and then something something along the lines of g6 bishop g7 except there's bishop b2 in that line um, the alternative is to play king e7 which looks terrible but I have to choose between some evils <laughs> also realizing white could um, so in this line after takes 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 I could take back on b5. It's not easy to def defend this pawn. I guess I have king e7. Whatever I do here, I I'm gonna have to suffer some some ugliness. Hmm. Okay, so it takes. Let's calculate a bit more precisely. Let's imagine white goes into this line. The king will go to e8. Maybe just knight d6 in that that line. But taking looks nice. Takes, takes. Yeah, the knight's going to be trapped Can somehow. Can you play a Budapest Gambit next chance? You okay, let's do this. I love that opening. Oh, I love it too. Yeah, I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for subbing. Shiba Siesco. Welcome back. Subbing for eight months. Yeah, so <laughs> black... Uh, or, or white has a, a pleasant choice here. I am temporarily up a minor piece. So white has, has a decision to make. And takes on b5, okay. Um, I'm actually still up a pawn. So I'll play king e7. It's a really ugly move. Uh, but queens are off the board. So there's no, there's no mate. I'm ready to untangle with some pawn moves. I do occasionally run into this knight h3 line in the Budapest. Tommy. Not too often, but it's a decent positional line for white. Okay, so now my knight's tied down to the pawn. If I play this, that's probably only helping white. b6 is, looks like a solid move. a6 also... White might have the threat of this. Have to be careful. All right, let's start with f. F6. Knight here, I'll play b6. At this point, it's just about consolidating, completing development. Yeah, probably still b6. Some idea of bishop a6. It would require some calculation. <laughs> it's still a bit of a mess. Oh, tea time. Dak receiving or redeeming 9999. Alright, tea time. A4, interesting move. A4 is slightly annoying, because um, A5 is going to be strong. Hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to calculate this line after bishop A6, knight C7, takes, takes, and the question is, can I trap the knight? King D7? It actually looks promising. Rook can come to d1, king c8. 
Let's do it. I'm also preventing a5. A strange game so far. If I get the chance, I'll, yeah, I'll play rook. She knight d6 is now a playable move. So I could take. Takes rook d8. Yeah. And trades should be should be beneficial for me. I don't think white has another option. And then what I'm looking at is takes takes rook d1, king c7, and then I'll have I'll have some knight d6 or bishop d6. Whoa, it's vampire chicken. What's up, vampire chicken? Thanks for raiding. Shout out to the vampire. If you're just joining, this is my first game of the stream. Um, I stopped by Vampire Stream earlier. I was having a London themed tournament. Okay, I, I can't get too low on time because um, there's no increment. <laughs> and rating points are on the line. I do have this move. It looks passive, but if I can trade, that's what life is all about. At least when you're up material. Yeah, chat. did I give a shout out? I did, okay. The link is in the chat. People should follow the vampire. I'll be uploading a YouTube video tomorrow where I, I specifically mention the vampire. I do give a shout out uh, to vampire in the, the YouTube description. Um, it, it'll be a video about the, the joys of the Nagmans and Gambit, um, which I, I've been trying to learn more about. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see enactments in this stream. Ooh, that's a good move. Um, I have to play this. I don't know what I'm going to do about this move, because I could repeat, but I don't want to draw. If I get like one tempo, Ah, this is tricky. I might have to sack a pawn, which is not what I want to do. Okay, this is uh, this is very nice. White White should have played this, um, but now the rook's gonna come in. Um, I'm realizing it's actually still not easy. Wow. I forgot now this pawn is weak. I mean, I have to I have to defend this pawn. I'm going to lose a pawn. Yeah, this pawn's falling. The question is how bad is it? At least white's taking time. Oh, maybe it's not so bad cuz I have no, it doesn't. I still might end up playing this. Yeah, White's playing this well. Okay, so I'll play. That's really not what I want to do. I do have e5 takes and then f5. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'll, I'll try and treat this pawn as a weakness. Like, if my king can get to, to e6, it shouldn't be so bad. If the pawn goes to e6, then, then it should be attackable. Um, and I'll, I'll have this set up, ideally with a king coming in as well. Yeah, white's playing a good game. Despite the unusual opening. Oh, thanks, Messy Marvin. Slumming a tier one for for 23 months. Thanks so much. Almost two years. Appreciate that. I really gotta make up time. Gort. Double underscore. Thanks for subbing with Prime. 
I like the fact my opponent's thinking. Because it's not so clear what white wants to do. Like my pawns are are all quite solid. This bishop is very restricted. Like the bishop is not happy just staring at my immaculate queenside pawn chain. Mm. All right, let's control the only open file. I changed my mind from the original idea of putting the rook here, especially now that the square is open. Oh, g4 might be coming. If it happens, I'll try and deal with it. g4, wow. Okay, so I can, I can play this. I'm definitely worse here, like objectively. It's not pleasant. I don't want to trade rooks. Yeah, rook d8 was probably probably the wrong decision. Man, I lost around 50 rating points today. Mm. Ouch. That's life though. That's the nature of online chess too. When you play a lot, the rating can fluctuate in both directions. Okay. Considering a6, play a6, because otherwise the pawn was just um, just a long-term target. The downside with a6 is my ooh, what is this move? Wow, that was a nifty move. Wow. So the thread is this. And if I play this, then I lose. If I play this. I have to try this. Well, he's playing this really well. So I, I'm calculating rook g7, takes, takes, and then king a8. Interesting. Yeah, white's preserving, that was, yeah. A strong decision. Okay, let's try this. Idea bishop here. Very possible I'll end up sacking like a lot of pawns. Yeah, rook g1 is really strong. And like, I, I couldn't afford to allow this and this. It's still complicated, so I still have hope. So my plan is after it takes to play king here, I'll be attacking this, and then this should be a weakness as well. Doesn't look promising though. When is your choker match with Nakamura? Thursday, 3 p.m. Central Time. Be there. This is really unpleasant. But okay, at least this pawn is weak. Idea bishop d6. There's some hope with time too, even though time is very much dwindling. I forgot why I could play that right away. Thankfully, I'm still controlling the rank. Hmm. 
Looks very risky though, maybe b5, c4. I just want to slow white down. Not so simple how white makes progress either. Maybe that's how. Okay, the pawn's defended. Maybe this move. Have to take. <sighs> Alright, it's completely losing, but I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. Because white doesn't know what to do. It's not easy for white to improve. Up on time, too. Yeah, so here... Oh, oh good move. Okay, let's play f3. Oh, wow. Oh, I am losing. I miss that. Okay, I have to go for this. My pawn's slow. Am I, am I going to win on time? Oh, they're lagging. It's a draw. No! Oh, maiden one. Opponent had maiden one. Wow. <laughs> Why you play that really well? I missed rook f8. I don't know if I can stop it in any way though. Maybe king. I should play king b7 here. So I lost some rating points. Wait, I wanted to go over that game. I was very lucky. My opponent was very slow in the end. Like, had, I mean, White could pre move to victory, but. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just completely lost. But, okay, King b7. Oh, Bishop c5, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got outplayed, like, up a pawn, too. Um, I thought white was going to go for a draw, like go for this repetition line, but that wasn't so clear. And g4. Yeah, this whole concept with rook f1 and g4. times yeah the move times are slightly suspicious yeah also like unless my opponent is like anonymous GM um, this is this is a pretty clear sign of engine analysis I usually don't like to make the like public statements like this, but um, I mean, I, I did have the feeling during the game, um, especially with like the amount of time <laughs> I was was playing with. But I survived. <laughs> I did survive. Yeah, well, I had no clue how to like finish off the game, except yeah, this. I was thankful to, uh, to to move quickly enough. Anyway, that's unfortunate. Um, it's discouraging too, because in, in general, I I do enjoy playing like the slower games. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I could just play against Stockfish if I want, if I want a tough challenge. I didn't win. That the it was a draw, officially, because I didn't have any mating material. When you win on time, but you only have your king left, um, it's a draw. Um, but it's it's not like I'm playing trying to win the tournament. I mentioned this at the start of the stream, but I'm just trying to play 
to have interesting games. A university has a chess tournament. Any advice or op opening recommendations? Most of your games won't be determined in the opening, so don't worry too much about like specific openings. Especially at a certain level, it's hard to like even if you study openings, it's hard to like get exactly what you study. So definitely like understand principles um, and and be like usually before a tournament you want to be very tactically sharp. So most of your time right before the tournament, you should prioritize like solving tactics and prioritize just getting enough rest and don't burn yourself out. I, I do report, uh, yeah, I, I do report cheaters. Um, usually not on stream though, not worth the time. <laughs> 